<clears throat> there were not any geese bothering me today. I wanna show you guys something that we're probably gonna solve today. So there is a light back there. And last night when I was trying to sleep, it would shine like directly on my face. What you gotta do sometimes is you gotta like put stuff up against the window to be able to block individual lights. But we are in a Walmart parking lot and I know that they carry those little window screen things like suction cups. I think we're gonna get some of those just so that I never need to play hopscotch with my jacket again. Oh, also, somebody in my last video, they wanted me to show you guys some more parts of this car. This is a really rare car. This is a 1998 Pontiac Grand Prix GTP Daytona 500 edition. Um, let me show you this. So this is the Daytona 500. There are, this is number one, two, three, five out of 1500. There were only 1500 of this car ever made. This is a rare car. It's one of 1500. That's why I paid so much for it. And I also, it's also supercharged. And it's really fast and it's got everything else. I love this car so much. It just happens to also be really rare. I only need to charge my watch like once every three days. It's fantastic. We definitely need to charge our electronics today because this basically is dead. GoPro batteries are dying. This is basically dead. Tablet's dying. We need electricity. Teresa just recommended that I should actually look into getting like a sleep mask. That way I don't need to worry about the lights in my car. That's possibly a good idea. I've never had to shop for a sleep mask before. I don't even know where they would be. So I'm thinking it might be in like sporting sections. I genuinely have no idea where to buy one of these things at. I cannot find any sleep masks here. So I think the next place we're gonna check is by like the bedding section. God, where are these things? This is where I assumed they would be. Some place where you're like able to buy sheets and stuff like that. But I don't see any sleeping masks. Oh my God. Bed bug glue traps. Yikes. I'm not sure if you guys watched that Mark Robber video about bed bugs, but look at this, look at this. Trash can freshener. You could spend $11 on trash can freshener, or you could break out the hose. Oh, okay, so maybe it's in the travel section. Maybe I can find one of these things where the travel -y stuff is, like. Okay, so this neck pillow has one built in. It's like, it comes with it, it comes with earplugs too. But it's not like securely attached, so like somebody could just walk off with this. I'm a little bit pissed though, because they don't sell individual face masks. The only way you can buy them is if you buy the whole pillow. I don't want this. Okay, I give up on the sleep masks. I gave it a good, hard effort. These guys. Okay, so check it out. You put one of them up in your window right there, and they've got like suction cups on them to where they will hold themselves in place. Check it out, and they come in really small sizes. Uh, $5 for this. Check it out, these guys are thick though. Like look at, this is like a sponge. This would provide some like thermal protection to keep my car warmer at night. I can also use it during the day to keep my car warm or to keep my car cool from the sun. This is just a good idea. This is sad. They've got all of this Dr. Pepper on sale for less than $5. And I know exactly why. It's because it tastes bad. Um, actually, oh, oh, they've got that zero sugar cream soda one. This is great. Less than $5, holy shit. It's a deal. I don't have enough arms for this. I'm gonna go get a cart and get more of this. See, like the, even the Coca-Cola is $8. This is such a steal. Okay, we're just gonna put this stuff down here while I go get a cart. Okay, now that we can carry them, I think that we are gonna go buy Walmart out of all of their Dr. Pepper. Again, it's hard to do this with one hand. Now, I hope it doesn't get below freezing again because then all of these cans would explode. This is great, what a fucking steal. My cart is super heavy now. We should also check out the expired food section while we're here. You need a whole loaf of bread for like $1.50. Check this out, you can get a half roast beef sandwich for $5, or you can get a full roast beef sandwich for $4.50. We're gonna get the full one. Okay, now let's bring these things up. Okay, we're gonna take this, then we're gonna scan the things. Then we've got six of these guys, so we're gonna scan this guy six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Now we've just gotta find a way to make all of this stuff fit in the trunk. First off, solar panel's gonna come out. Clothes hamper, gonna come out. Tent, gonna come out. I think we're just going to lay these flat, kind of like a, 
little floor, like a little floor for my trunk. Oh my god, motherfucker. Okay, we have lots of cans, I guess. I guess we know which box we're opening first. Okay, that's that. Solar panel goes back in the trunk. Look at that, I managed to fit every single box in my trunk. Let's go find a place to throw these boxes away and then put the cart back. Here, in, oh, let's go. Damn it, I have cans falling everywhere. Oh, it's all bent up. Oh no, I still like you. I think our game plan right now is to get breakfast. Possibly from somewhere like McDonald's or... Egg McMuffin. Currently what I'm doing right now is I'm watching tutorials for how to edit videos in DaVinci Resolve. Um, I used to edit all of the videos on my phone when I was in Europe, but now that I'm actually using a GoPro that takes like a lot of footage, I need to learn how to edit my videos better. I have been editing videos for a while, so I do have some experience with like basic timeline scrubbing, but I've never done any like professional editing like DaVinci Resolve is for. So um, there's, a, there's a bit of a learning curve and I'm still learning how to do things. The goal is to not be very obvious that we're uh, leeching resources. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna put him up there like that. Mm -hmm. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Okay, I've been here for like five hours. Everything is charged up. We have all of the electricity that we need. Oh, it's the last number of days. Oh, it's so big, it's hard to move around. If you are wondering if I just left all of my laptop and stuff in there, you would be right. I'll be back there soon enough. <clears throat> Just gotta put all of this stuff back away. Yeah. I need to start being more frugal with my energy usage by like having my devices on low power more mode and turning Bluetooth off and all of that stuff. Bitcoin is finally starting to come up. I have until Friday for this to really, really spike up. So this is good news. This is, this is better than it was yesterday. I am gonna be leaving in like 10 minutes. So I wanna download a bunch of YouTube videos before I get out because the Wi-Fi here is crazy fast. I want to take you guys on a tour of one of my favorite stores. The place that we're about to go is an American treasure. I would like to introduce all of you to the Dollar Tree. The premise here is that everything here costs $1.25, so like $1.27 because of taxes. But if you guys are interested in the business economics of Dollar Tree, this is where most of their margin comes from. Things like this. Things that cost like seven cents to produce, but they end up selling it for a dollar. They have like a thousand percent return on investment on these things. Like this, every time you buy one of these cards, they make so much money just because of how cheap they are to produce. Party supplies are their second largest grossing item. So if you got your plastic forks, you got your tablecloths, things like this are massively cheap, but they end up selling them at a huge markup. Balloons, I like the idea of like the box. candles, the stuff box like this. Area. You can actually kind of tell just how profitable this business is based on how long they were able to keep everything a dollar given that inflation goes up every year. This is where Dollar Tree actually loses money in things like food. This costs more than a dollar to like produce. They want you to come in here, spend money on like various food items, and then they make up their product and all of the party supplies and gift cards back there. Like you've got cheese, you've got, what is, I don't know, cucumber, something or another. Like you've got like, like fresh produce, you've got meat. All of this stuff costs more than a dollar for them. Just looking at this, I wish I had a microwave. Macaroni and cheese sounds real good right now. Look at how tall these things are. They got really tall Dr. Pepper. If you're ever at a Dollar Tree, these are another really good value. They're chocolate covered pretzels. Um, if you were to try to go to Walmart and get something like this, this would be like two and a half dollars. You can get a really good price on them. They're rare though. You'll very rarely see these in a Dollar Tree. With all of that said, I wanna show you guys the real reason that I keep coming back here. All of that stuff is just interesting little, little side notes. The reason that I come back here is because they have the widest selection of candy. Like, like just things you would never see anywhere else. Particularly this right here. This is sour bubble gum. It is crazy sour. I'm actually, and it's, this is the only place you can get it, is the Dollar Tree. 
Like this is so sour, by the end of it, you can feel the enamel on your teeth starting to like wear down. One of the biggest downsides of Dollar Tree is they typically only have one person manning the cash register. That saves them money, but it means that the lines are typically super long. Thank you so much. I am so excited. Just the thought of eating this is making me salivate. Okay, now we get to chill here. We get to eat some super sour gum and I don't know, watch Netflix or something. Do you guys want to eat dinner? We still have that roast beef sandwich from earlier this morning. This was cheaper than half of a sandwich. I'm not sure what their pricing was going on, but this was cheaper than getting half of a roast beef sandwich. It's really simple. It's basically just bread, uh, cheese, and roast beef. But I still like this sandwich quite a bit. I used to work at a restaurant back when I was in high school and going into college, and we would make roast beef sandwiches kind of like this. It was really hard for me because every time I would put a slice of cheese on the sandwich, I would eat a slice of cheese. Every time I would put a slice of roast beef on the sandwich, I would eat a slice of roast beef. So... These are fond memories, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna hold the camera with my knees. I'm gonna try to rip this in half. Oh, hey, that was that was seamless. Cool. I was honestly expecting that to be much more difficult. The bread's not very good. Oh no, this is the can we broke from earlier and it's not even opening now. Like, look at this. Because it's bent, I, it, I need to find something to poke it with. I think I have a screwdriver in the back right here. Somewhere, maybe. No, but I do have pliers, and pliers can be used to push stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna push this in. Oh, come on, nope, don't spill. It might taste a little bit like metal, but who cares? Hey, check it out, the street lights just turned on, or I guess the floodlights just turned on. Let's go try our new uh, light prevention methods. Oh, it's so dark. Okay, in order to make this work, first we've got to get the bedding out because the bedding is bigger than the other stuff. We get to open this together. There's not a lot of light in my car, and once we put this up, there's going to be less light. Actually, that's a good point. Let's turn my flashlight on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the unboxing video where we unbox the accordion sunshade. I wonder what's inside of it. Okay, we've got little buckle things. Ooh. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm not sure what side I want to use. So this side is black and this side is shiny. Now the side, the shiny side would be good for like, if you're trying to reflect the sun, but this is dark and I don't want my car to stand out. So I think we're going to have this side on the outside and we're going to have the shiny side on the inside. I think that's how this is going to work. Um, it's also got a little cutout right here for like your rear view mirror, but I'm putting this on the back, so I don't need that. Okay, it's too big. That's what she said. Like, it's supposed to be like a universal fit, so like, it fits every car. But it's too big for my car. I have razor blades. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. I've got my razor blade. I'm not sure how I want to cut this. Let me think. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit off both sides. Ah, oh, wait, maybe, because then I could potentially break both sides. Let's do a, let's do a lot on one side. And that way, if this goes bad, only one side is shitty. This side does not have anything important on it. So we're gonna cut off one bit of it at a time. Slicey, slicey, slicey. After what feels like way too much effort, this is the result. And I'm still pissed because it's got that little mirror hole. I spent 15 fucking dollars on that. God damn it. We do also have the mini ones though. Let's see if we can find them in here. I found it. Let's try these. Unbox these mini ones now. Oh. They're bigger than I thought they would be. They've got these little suction cups. I'm not sure if you can see this. Let's rip these off. Yeah, they've got suction cups so that they're supposed to stick to your window. Let's try to apply these. Um. So, one can just stick there. I guess I'll scrunch the other one. I'm disappointed because it's not that much darker. Like, I was hoping that that would, like, stop the lights from shining on me, but it doesn't. Yeah, it's basically nothing. Well, I'm pissed. This is like a poor man's tent, I guess. It's going in the trash. Okay, that's gonna be the end of this vlog. I am uh, gonna go to bed. At least this sort of works. It's better than using my jacket. <laughs>